As the Trinidad and Tobago Heart Foundation celebrates the 10th anniversary of their Go Red for Women initiative, director of the foundation and chair of Go Red for Women, Dr. Sabita Harikisun, says women experience unique gender-specific risk factors at different times in their lives. She notes during the reproductive years, women are at a lower risk for heart disease and stroke than men. Hormonal contraceptives, fertility treatment and pregnancy-related disorders such as preeclampsia and gestational diabetes can affect a woman's risk. As women transition into menopause, estrogen production lessens and women who experience early menopause, be it surgically or naturally, before 45, have a higher risk of developing heart disease. Minister of Health Terence Dialsing says our future is bright and he's advocating for more women to become involved in the field of postgraduate research on women's cardiac health. According to Minister Dialsing, women are sometimes underestimated but continue to prove how exceptional they are. Women have to keep on proving to men how good they are and sometimes better than us. It is a myth that cardiovascular disease is a man's problem. It is also a woman's problem. But the historical bias doesn't allow women to be diagnosed correctly. It's critical to identify cardiovascular illness as soon as possible, according to Dr. Leanne Cognette Bowen, who advises people to have a heart health check. She points out that early identification and treatment are advised and says symptoms could be vague and less obvious than the excruciating pain often associated to heart failure. We may have other symptoms, neck pain, jaw pain, shoulder pain, upper back pain, shortness of breath, pain in one arm, pain in both arms, nausea, vomiting, cold sweating, lightheadedness, heartburn. Further information on the foundation can be accessed via their website at theheartfoundation.org or in person at rooms 46 to 47 ground floor, building 1 Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex in Mount Hoop. Sonolala, TTT News.